Hello, it's uh, six. No, it's six thirty-four a.m. in the morning on the fifth of February two thousand and fifteen. Uh, a lot of things have changed. Uh, yesterday I went for training. Today I'm going for training again for my insurance. Uh, it's uh, very. I've been struggling with reality and fantasy. Uh, there's this dream that I have which might come true, it might not come true. But insurance business is really somehow grounded in reality. I can probably be an insurance agent for the rest of my life. You know, it's, it's good work. It's helping people. It's really something that I can be proud of if I make it. So, but I know there's, a, there's stories in me that my heart is supposed to be in writing so I mean I'm gonna work both ways I'm gonna be an insurance agent I'm gonna be a writer right but the thing is I'm spending more time to write what am I saying I'm not spending more time to write I'm spending more time to do insurance than to write so I've scaled down writing I'm focusing on my insurance agent career the problem is I was an account development manager uh, probably 10 years ago, wait, 2014, 2007, 2008, I was an, issue, an account development manager. So I was going out there to meet people, like knocking on 60 doors a day. And somehow I developed this phobia, this phobia of cold canvassing, of calling people and things like that. So about October last year, I tried calling people and I'm shaking, I'm like shaking, you know, shaking like my colleague then Mark was telling me hey Vic why are you shaking I don't know why am I shaking I'm just scared of people now like talking to strangers and telling them about stuff and when they shout at you and when they uh, come out of the phone and like want to bash you up it's like you you just you just freak out you know you just you just scared you know so I don't know I'm I'm trying to overcome that phobia and hopefully somehow this this coming Monday, I'm going to call people and hopefully that fear can be banished. I just have to pray. I just have to believe in myself and believe that that guy on the phone will jump out of the you know, phone and beat me up. Or at least, I mean, even if he wants to shout at me, it's fine. He can shout at me, say whatever he wants. My mom was saying, take the phone, put it to my Hello Kitty doll and let, let the Hello Kitty doll listen to all the angry comments. So I think that's a really good idea. I think that could work out. Hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that within one hour I can call 20 people and within 12 hours I can call 240 people and eventually within this month I can call thousands of people and within the thousands of people I can make appointments and even though I might not be closing, maybe I'm just sharing that's all I want to do right now is to plant the seeds, you know, plant the seeds and then somehow in the future people will come up to me and say, Hey Vic, I'd like to, I'd like to sign up with you because I believe you're, you're there to help me. I believe you're there to give me something good and not sell me stuff. So I, that's, that's the whole idea that I'm there to help people. And then not because I want the commission, but because I want to help people. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's already four minutes. I really need to go. I need to go to, to the gym. So I'm, I'm going to see you sometime next, sometime tomorrow. I don't know what I'm saying sometimes because I'm, I'm just, I'm just a bit blur here. So please excuse me. Peace.